All right, what we're looking at here is a company called Exodus Machine. We're out of Superior, Wisconsin. We're the only North American manufacturer of this, this type of equipment. Uh, this is a machine that's made for above ground uh, lifting. It's a material handler, purpose-built material handler. Like I said, my next, my next step Let's take a look. What we have here is a 111,000 pound machine. Metric tons, 50. U.S. tons, 55. Yeah, I want to make money. You have a machine that's very good at lifting a lot of material above ground. And the market segment that we take care of primarily is the scrap industry. It lends itself very well to the waterways and to the paper mills as well and potentially other things. This is a grapple. This is uh, what we call a four uh, tine orange peel style grapple. And this is a company out of Two Harbors, Minnesota. They're friends of ours and they make a great product. You can put other attachments on this machine like magnets, uh, clam style buckets for ag, and potentially all kinds of different stuff. The markets uh, that we serve right now potentially, or excuse me, are basically just the, the grapple and the magnet style customers. What we do with this machine primarily in our main market segment is unload trucks, um, barges, rail cars, and we're unloading scrap from demolition sites, uh, manufacturers, um, recycle automobiles. Old steel needs to turn into new steel, and this is a machine that will uh, help in that process. This is the only cab in the world for any type of machinery that we're aware of uh, that will hydraulically lower all the way down to the ground so we where just put a you are able to step in or out of the cab. We get in the cab and you can see we have a very comfortable, um, ergonomically friendly cab if you will. Um, we have electric over hydraulic functions on this machine so it's very, very fast, very, very smooth. The cycle time on this thing is unmatched by anybody else in this weight class. We have technology in an Exodus machine that has uh, been used in many other market segments, segments for many years now, and we just thought we should have them in these machines so we can do the same type of things that these other guys are using it for. And what that is is simply the ability to dial into the machine from the factory and determine what might be going wrong. We can see the engine, the pumps, cylinders, uh, etc working and we can determine what might be going wrong pretty quickly and we can get the right uh, component to repair the problem to the mechanic in the field tomorrow. Um, there's other things that this system is capable of doing as well. Uh, we can dial into the machine and change uh, the way that these machines respond to your commands with the joysticks. We can slow down the boom, speed up the boom, we can swap these joysticks so that you want to, uh, so you can move the stick with this joystick if you want today, or you could be moving the boom with it uh, tomorrow. And we can dial in and do that type of change in about 30 seconds. Uh, for that matter, we can reprogram the whole machine within about 30 minutes. Um, we have a rear view camera on all of our machines. Uh, it's just safe. You know, you get to see the things that are behind you. It's a big machine, and sometimes there's some blind spots, and that, that definitely helps. Uh, this is a machine that um, has a little, has some things in here that, you know, some creature comforts, if you will, for the operator. A nice stereo system. You can see, you know, the speakers in here. The uh, climate control is, is uh, really nice. Uh, we do have a cab that has a leather seat that has, uh, you can, it's a heated leather seat, has forced air for, for hot days. Uh, we have a stereo system that allows you to plug your iPod into it. Um, you know, operators get out of this cab. And, you know, they don't feel like they put in eight, nine hours of hard work. It's a very comfortable experience being an operator in an Exodus. And more importantly for the owner, uh, his operator is getting a lot done. It's a very, very fast, productive machine as, as well as being very uh, comfortable to operate. Let's take a look at some of the other features that the Exodus has. Exodus takes a different approach with this lower carriage compared to some of the other guys that um, that offer this type of machine. Most everybody else uses gears, axles, differentials, um, and these are things that can be damaged. You know, if you look at the Exodus, it's very 
It's a very high clearance. It's very clean. There's nothing under there that can be potentially damaged in a scrap yard where you have loose material all over the place or piles of steel that this machine is piling up that can slip down the pile and uh, do some serious damage to those type of things underneath. And that's not cheap to repair. So what Exodus has here is um, a machine that really avoids that. Uh, we're using final drives to power our wheels, uh, not unlike an excavator would. You don't find that on other uh, purpose-built material handlers, only on an Exodus. So that lends itself to a uh, true four-wheel drive, which is, you know, pretty nice when you're going through some areas that um, a track machine usually would uh, be needed for. It doesn't perform as well as a track machine in those really difficult areas, but it's going to perform better than any of the other machines on wheels because of that. And when you look at this lower carriage, you, you see it's a little bit different. Um, you know, most of the other guys have a real flat style top and maybe like a two, I like to think of it as two I-beams with a flat top on it, if you will, and you have that riser ring kind of exposed and um, I think in a position that's uh, causing a little bit more stress than, than you would like. So that being said, it uh, kind of tapers from end to end and uh, rises and wraps around that riser ring really well and relieves a lot of stress. We're using a uh, very thick plate as well. There's a lot of curves and contours, not too many 90 degree angles on this thing. Uh, we're very meticulous. Our structural engi engineer is very meticulous about the type of steel he's using. It's very high tensile strength. There's very little stress. Uh, the welds, the way they start and end, uh, it's all very, very important to us. And if you look at um, the other parts of this machine structurally, the cab linkage system, it's a very stout, very robust system. Um, we're using, it's probably a little bit overkill, um, but at the end of the day, uh, we know that these, these operators, when they, when they take this cab and elevate it hydraulically to about 19 feet eye level, um, you know, they're putting the, their linkage systems through a lot of stress. They're driving through the yards, they're, they're swinging, um, they're putting this linkage system and other linkage systems to the test and over time a lot of these operators on other machines have complained that it loosens up and they're out there you know rattling away and that's no fun that 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 will really uh, wear down an operator and you're not going to experience that on an exodus because we because of this robust linkage system and on top of that are sealed roller bearings that are uh, you know helping to fight that as well and we use uh, holding valves um, to keep it from going up and down when you're traveling as well. So uh, this thing's ready to take millions of cycles and that operator isn't going to experience that rattling around out there. If we take a walk around to the other side, you'll see that the Exodus has something that uh, not too many other guys have. And that is the ability to access the engine compartment by opening the side door on the upper carriage. This door, when you open it up, allows you to get at the engine, at the batteries, at the auto loop system that loops every pivot point on this machine, except for these outrigger pads down here. Um, you get access to the to the pumps. We have two 75 gallon per minute pumps here. These are Bosch Rexroth pumps. We have a dedicated uh, Bosch Rexroth pump to the swing motor. We have a closed loop swing circuit on this machine. That means you're never robbing from the swing circuit when you're doing any of the other functions. So it's very fast and smooth. We have Bosch Rexroth pumps throughout. They're very easy to get locally. And it's a name that I think most of us have uh, you know, heard over time and has proven itself to be a quality pump. We have a John Deere engine. It's a 9.0 liter engine. In this weight class, we wanted to have more horsepower than anybody else. After looking long and hard at many different engines, um, we sit on John Deere for uh, many reasons that we like and our customers like. And we could have had the 275 horsepower that we wanted from, six, from the 6.8 liter John Deere, but we decided to go with a 9.0 liter because it's not working very hard. In theory, you're jogging through the yard every day instead of sprinting. It has a very long life and it doesn't burn much fuel because of that. It's about six gallons per hour. Fuel prices continue to go up and that is very important to us and our customers. Um, so this, this area here is where you'll find most of the things you need to get to daily too when you're doing your fluid checks and things of that nature. Uh, we also have an air compressor on here that you may or may not be able to see that allows guys to plug in their power tools 
and uh, use them if they'd like. It's just a luxury of owning an Exodus, if you will. Uh, this engine is, is ready, uh, just about ready to go to interim four. Um, really the only thing that will change is the particulate collector and uh, one of the reasons why we like John Deere uh, is they, they are very they're very close to being ready just on this engine to go to tier four. There's not much not much change and we're ready for that on the uh, passing of this upper as well. So if you take a look down here on the lower carriage again, we're on the other side and you can see we have some access doors that allow us to get to the lower uh, main control valves. These are valve um, sections and we like that because um, you know we can add uh, the, another section or two if we need it. It's um, you know the monoblocks we understand why guys like or don't like those but we believe in this technology because it's very easy uh, to get at the area that might be having problems. It's a bit self-contained that way um, and you know more importantly it's really easy to get at it down here and it's partitioned from the upper main so that um, you know if we have a problem with the lower we know we're going into this very accessible area and we're going to fix our problem pretty quickly here at uh, you know waist level standing on the ground pretty easy to get at and, and we didn't look at it but on the other side we have uh, some access doors like this as well that have a toolbox in there that we provide for you there's some valves in there we provide for you we provide you some o-ring kits um, there's some handles in there we give you for the hydraulic lines that run from uh, run all the way out to the end of the stick that have shut off valves on them you grab your handles on the toolbox we provide for you and open up open up those valves once you get your attachment connected uh, it's really nice there's no leaking it's uh, pretty user friendly that way we have some ladders on either side that allow you to get up to the upper area of the machine you simply climb up that ladder and climb up this ladder and now you have you know, access to the top of the uh, engine and to the upper uh, control valves and um, you know other areas of the machine that you may need to get to for maintenance or for repair. If you take a look at our booms and our sticks on the Exodus, it may be difficult from this side here with the sun. But if you take a look at what we're doing here, we have a seamless boom, a seamless stick. We use thicker plate than anybody else. And we've really taken into consideration the stress that these guys put these things through, the boom tip specifically, when they're doing their tamping, sweeping, knocking rail cars down the tracks whatever it might be that day that they need to do, we're prepared for it. It's box style construction. Uh, it's a very stout, robust rock lolly design. We pin our booms right at the center of rotation, so inherently we have to have a longer boom than anybody else to reach out almost 59 feet where uh, most of our competitors are at and we are at, and with that, we have a more uh, height, we have a longer reach vertically, uh, up to 64 feet than anybody else, by a couple feet, because we choose to pin it right at the center of rotation. And with that, we don't have to have as big a counterweight than, than uh, you see on some of the other machines as well. And which model is this? This is the Exodus MX447 HDR. And again, we are designing and manufacturing these machines in Superior, Wisconsin.